Good morning. Welcome along to another video. So we're in an area today I haven't spent too much time. Uh, I've done no research, but I do know that there's at least one image around here that I want to capture. Uh, there's a group of trees which uh, could make a really nice image. Uh, and there's quite a lot of walks and things nearby. So I thought, let's give it a go. Up early, uh, sunrise is at seven o'clock. It's just after six. Um, you can see probably just behind me that there's a little bit of kind of blue hour in the sky and, and yeah so we might get some interesting sky it's quite clear at the moment we might see some stars in the picture but anyway let's get going I want to get this done um, a little bit of a walk to get to the first shot so I'll see you when we get there Surprise you can see me. It's a lot darker than it's come up from the camera, which is good. I don't mind that. At least you can see what I'm doing. The sky's almost washed out behind me, but there's a beautiful orange hue coming through. Uh, trees I want to photograph just behind me over here. In fact, you can see them better on the camera. Uh, can we see them there? Over there somewhere. We're going to have a walk back along over this fence. Over that way, try and get set up uh, and hopefully try and capture them. There's a footpath that goes off just behind me here into those woods. There might be some interesting things over there as well, so we'll go and have a look over there. Let's go. Oh, this style is really slippy this morning. Here you go, right. Let's find a way across here. So in the video of this, there's a little bit about what I wanted to talk about. So we've got a tree here in front of me, which is absolutely gorgeous on its own. But if we look at the background, it's quite distracting. We aren't able to get a full kind of view of the tree. It gets, gets lost along the bottom. But I do love the colour behind the uh, kind of backlight in the tree, sort of. Um, but yeah, what we need to do here is try and look for an angle where we remove the distractions in the background. So quite often people will see something, they'll stop, especially when you're beginning as well, when you're not really looking, you'll stop and you look at this tree and go, wow, look at that, I'll take a picture. And then you'll be a bit disappointed. So what we're going to do is have a look around this to see if we can get a little bit of uh, a different perspective on it. Uh, for example, if we go up a little bit and maybe get the bottom out, there's a different angle there. But, you know, what we want to do is remove all of the distraction in the back. So what we're going to do is have a walk around. Um, I'll show you a couple of different angles and diff different perspectives and hopefully we'll be able to get a shot set up. So just a little bit closer. Uh, but you still see a little bit of um, kind of there's some houses in the background off in the distance there. It's not really adding anything to the, to the picture, but if we come further down onto a lower angle, right down, we can now see we've got a stronger composition. It's taken away the distraction. We've got a little bit of a foreground element. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's quite a lot of tall grass there. So although we're not sitting in the bottom half of the trunk, it's a much nicer composition and we've still got some colour in the background. The alternative I could do is go around to the other side of the tree and look towards where we are right now. Uh, and there's nothing behind us that's completely clear. But there's no colour in the sky over this side as yet. So a little bit of a compromise. That's usually the thing with photography. It's always about compromise and trying to fit in the things that you want and take out the things that you don't. So I'm going to try and set up for this low angle. I'll need the tripod because it's dark. And I'll show you the image if it's any good.
is the trees and as you can see like I was talking about before at the moment this image just wouldn't work from here normally in the foreground uh, you can see there's quite some tall grass that's usually uh, where the water's standing but we can't see any of this so there's no reflections or anything so as it is the image doesn't work so we can try a similar technique to what we did just on the the other tree there when we were like I say warming up we can come down lower and we can see if that creates anything better but to me that's uninspiring a little bit boring now when I've driven past this spot in my mind's eye I've always thought that using a very shallow depth of field would be a way to get away from the background but at the moment there's not even any light on the tree so I think it would be a completely uninspiring image even though I love this set of trees just sitting out here on their own a little bit of frustration <laughs> but it's okay what we'll do I'm going to have a wander into the woods over there and when the sun does eventually come up we might get some light coming through the back and that might give us the separation that we want what I'm also going to do is shoot from much further back than here if I was shooting from here I probably need to use maybe a 35 uh, millimeter lens to, to kind of capture it you know we're not too far away but I might capture it from the far end of the field um, using a much um, bigger aperture maybe something like a, a three an f3.5 3.2 uh, just so I can get the sharpness on the trees and then blur the trees in the back out and that might give us the separation that we want as well hmm. let's go and see what else we can find for now this field is covered in cow droppings <laughs> and cow pats so pleased to put the big boots on today When I was walking across early and it was dark, I have no idea what I've stood in and I really don't want to know. Just make sure I give them a good rinse off later. So whilst I was waiting for my phone to restart, crashed and <laughs> just right in the middle of doing something, um, took a shot from here, uh, again low, using a low down point of view, just to distract the background, zoomed right in, the trees, kind of like that. Um, yeah, you can see you've got a little bit more separation there, but still not uh, not ideal try again in a minute <laughs> so we're gonna have a walk through the woods now see what we can see through there I think I can hear some deer so if we're quiet might be able to capture some So it was at this point we lost audio during the video and here you can see I've just spotted a little scene I like the reflection of the tree from the right I like the brightness of the greens coming out of the, uh, the pond as well so we decided to line up a shot here
and I decided to zoom in a little bit closer to make more of an abstract image, which I really like. So just looking around for other compositions, see if there's anything interesting. Spent a little bit of time composing the next shot. I thought there might have been a shot here with the uh, the orange kind of small bush that's sticking out right in the middle of the trees, but I couldn't get anything that was remotely uh, nicely balanced or nice composition. So yeah, we moved on and uh, yeah, I think we can see the sun coming up in the background now. I just love these early mornings through the woods. So quiet, you can hear some sort of rustling of animals in the background. Wandering back now to see if the light is hitting the trees that we want to take a picture of. Let's go and find out. Oh, and that's more like it, seeing the trees in the background still in dark kind of contrast. The sun's coming from the right, illuminating those trees, giving us the separation that we talked about. Yeah, a bit more exciting now, so I think we'll uh, get set up for this next shot. Super happy with those shots. Also went for a 6x17. I love that long format, the wide format. Just looking around now, see how the lights behave and see if there's anything else worth shooting. So I think that's it for today. What a beautiful morning. A little bit hectic, I must admit. When you haven't been out for a while, you get a little bit rusty. But on this side, you can't see it because of the sun. Yeah, you get a little bit rusty and I definitely felt that today. But a couple of good shots and really the main shot that I wanted, I got so I'm, I'm happy. Still wonder, I think this area's got a lot to give though. I think um, what would have been even more perfect was if there was a little bit of mist and cloud up here this morning when the sun came out. Oh, that would have really added some atmosphere. But I was so pleased we got a little bit of sunlight. I'm just having a look back across now. Still looking absolutely gorgeous. And oh, we got the shots we wanted. Time to head back now. But yeah, thanks for watching this one. Hopefully give you a little bit of information but you know it's not an instructional uh, channel this one 
with photography I think a lot of the time the more instruction you get the less creative you can become you've just got to learn your own path really plenty of uh, people trying to tell you exactly how to take images what to do what not to do not always the best advice you've got to work for you've got to work it out for yourself sometimes so if you enjoyed this one give us a thumbs up really appreciate it that, that's what I do it for I do it just because I enjoy coming out taking photographs I'd like to share it with everyone it's a beautiful region that we're in in the northeast here So we're almost back now. Hopefully it won't be as long before I'm out again. But I'm not very frequent. So busy day to day. So when I do come out, I like to enjoy it. Which I do. If you subscribe, you can catch us on the next one. Till next time. Take care. Bye.